All right, so for the first part of our inside look of people setting up, we're gonna go visit our friends over here at Crystal Classics. So let's take a quick look as to what they're doing inside here. Okay, we are entering into the Crystal Classics lair. And uh, we're gonna take the long route. You can see they're still setting up. There's Deanna. Hey, Deanna, how you doing? Hello, I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. We're just gonna take a look at the process here. The work in progress. Absolutely. Yeah. So on the left here is where they set up all the minerals and those eventually go into the cabinets that you see here to the right. And I've been watching them and there's a lot of back and forth and switching things around because one of the things that Crystal Classics is so well known for is really putting together uh, very beautiful and intelligently laid out cases. Uh, oh, here we've got some of the killer gemstone minerals and lots of tourmalines in there. We're going to kind of get a more in-depth look at all of this when we do uh, What's Hot in Tucson, when it's not quite as um, somewhat chaotic looking right now. But um, again, this is all behind the scenes, part of the process. And here is the Crystal Classics English bar. So come on over, have a drink. Uh, cleaning the glass of the case is a major, major, major effort with all the glasses here. And there's Mr. Ian Bruce. Ian, how you doing, buddy? Hey, welcome to Tucson 23. Absolutely. Okay. Well, uh, sorry to interrupt you in this whole process, but show us a, show the viewers a quick glimpse of what they're going to see when they come. Well, it's been a busy, busy run up to Tucson this year. We have four brand new collections never shown before. Nice. Um, incredible Sumeb minerals. Uh, we bought two very fine Sumeb collections. Uh, Sumeb super, is always super, a winner. Super, super things. Um, and, and Sumeb Day is coming back this year. Sumeb Day will be, uh, will be here. Malcolm Southwood will be talking. Unfortunately, can't be here this year. But right. um, we've got a whole program of lectures here at the Fine Mineral Gallery. So... Uh, if you haven't booked yet, then go online and you can book a place. Uh, I know some of the talks are already sold out. Um, they're free of charge, but uh, you need to go online and uh, onto our website and uh, just book a place. It's going to be a busy show. Terrific. Okay, show us some of the things that we're putting in real quick, and then I'll get out of your hair. Well, lots of new Sumeb things. Um, as I said, there are two or three hundred new uh, Sumeb specimens from a collection in Europe and uh, a very, very, very great uh, selection from uh, a, a collection we just bought in Africa. I'm not going to show you too many specimens. I'm no. going <laughs> to just make everybody wait. Um, Absolutely. But what I will show you is some of the really neat props that we have because these are often overlooked. Look at that. Oh, this is mining history yeah, right this there. This is real mining history. That's this a is, great belt. This is an original Sumeb prize belt that was presented to... Uh, to uh, the star performers underground. And this particular belt was presented to a, um, the underground uh, manager called Kivit Rust. Mm -hmm. And Kivit was a great miner from Sumeb. Um, he worked for us when we had the, the, uh, the Sumeb project. And this was his, this was his, uh, this was his, his original belt that he was presented with. Still, still with the wrapper on, it's never, never been used. It's, that is um, totally cool. This is lovely. Yeah. yeah. And look at this, this is, um, over the years as you buy great, um, Great uh, Sumeb collections around the planet. Um, you get this really neat stuff. And this, yes, it's a box. It's a wooden <laughs> box. And okay, dates, I wanted uh, to make sure I wasn't missing something here. <laughs> but I love it. You know, this is, um, it was originally originally used for packing average quality raisins. <laughs> and uh, it was produced by these guys in South Africa, Worcester, South Africa. And uh, it ended up in Sumeb. So it was sent, uh, this was a supply from Africa to Sumeb. And uh, this dates from the late 20s, 1920s. And uh, this, this box and all the other boxes that we have <laughs> like this were used to pack a mineral collection. I love it, and, uh, I love it. When we bought the collection, it, the, the specimens were still packed in cotton wool in these boxes and they were shipped from, from Namibia to, uh, to Germany in the 19, nine, late 1920s, 1929 in fact. And there was Emil Reisig's collection, and he died underground, actually, in the mine. Uh -huh. um, and his collection was sent back to Germany, and uh, 
What a great thing. You know, we I use them in our displays, but you know, great bit of Sumep history, just an ordinary box, but look at this. Well, you've been doing that for a while. You've taken mining artifacts and using them as part of your exhibit for our Crystal Classics. And it's just, it's fantastic because it really captures the character and the human story behind the minerals, which is, uh, you know, it, it makes them, in my opinion, so much more interesting. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, they, we, these are always overlooked in our cabinets and uh, people, you know, people don't realize the significance sometimes, but this is my favorite. This is my little genie's lamp. Sometimes <laughs> when I need a collection, I just rub it. Come on, genie, find me a collection. <laughs> well, apparently it's been working. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, uh, this is the original lamp that belongs to um, very, very famous uh, Sumeb character, Director Kegel. So this was oh, Kegel's wow. original mining lamp from the uh, 1920s, 1930s. And uh, yeah, we were really lucky to get this. Look at this, yeah, fabulous. Is superb. So Director Kegel's lamp. And we just love it to be in our Sumeb displays. and Fantastic. Beautiful, all right. Well, we're gonna just do a quick pan of all the wonderful Sumeb minerals that will go on exhibit. And we are gonna get a closer look of that a little bit later with What's Hot in Tucson. And we're also gonna be doing some live broadcasting. So all of you viewers, stay tuned for that. Ian, thank you so much, buddy. Look forward to seeing you all. All right, cheers.